Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we're gonna be going over some things men do that make them less attractive. So when it comes to male attractiveness, there are many different factors at play. It's not just the way you look. Us women find a number of things attractive and unattractive about men that involve much more than just your physical appearance. As you know, there are many things you can do to boost your attractiveness. I have done so many videos about this, making her laugh, being successful, seamlessly parallel parking a car, the list goes on, but there are are just as many things men can do to make themselves less attractive too. So in this video, I'm gonna be covering some things guys do that are making them less attractive to women. And overall, even eliminating the women factor completely, obviously my videos are from a woman's perspective, so that's kind of how I package it in regards to the title um, and overall you know, idea of the video. But I think even if you completely take out the woman factor, these are just things that make guys less attractive in general, and none of these things are going to be things that help you at all in life. So take it or leave it, but again, from a woman's perspective here, these things are a big deal. The first thing here is being passive. So being passive is perceived as less attractive to women because it can signal a lack of assertiveness, confidence, leadership, which are all qualities that many women find attractive in men. I would even go as far to say most women prefer a partner who takes initiative and is proactive in making decisions, pursuing goals, just kind of taking the lead on things. And even for your own sake, being consistently passive can lead to missed opportunities, a lack of personal growth, and an inability to have your own opinion or stand for what you believe in, which is obviously not good for you, regardless of if we're including that woman factor in it or not. And I've talked extensively about the importance of taking initiative in past videos and just why this is so attractive to women. I think a lot of us want a man in our life who we can trust to lead us in a positive direction, whether that be us and decisions that we make just the two of us or with a future family involved as well. But if you're a guy who's always passive, you never say what you think, you don't have a backbone, you never stand for what you believe in, you don't have any opinions, you're just a yes man that goes along with anything and everything I say, women don't like that. I know sometimes it seems like we do online, we want just like a little puppet to do whatever we want all the time, but really we want a man who stands for what he believes in and takes initiative and isn't just so passive all the time. Again, even if you take this woman aspect out of it, I really don't think being passive is helpful for you either and it's something that I just really don't recommend doing. The next point includes what's on the outside, but also a little bit of what's on the inside, and that is poor hygiene. So in general, I think physical attractiveness often tends to point back to one thing, and that is overall health. If you have poor hygiene, you don't typically look like the epitome of health, quite the opposite actually. It can suggest a lack of self-care and attention to your personal grooming, and I think really maintaining good grooming habits such as showering regularly, wearing clean clothes, brushing your teeth, the list goes on here. Obviously uncleanliness, which can often lead to unpleasant odors and just being overall not the best to be around is a turnoff and can make the overall experience of being around you just rather unpleasant. You need to be putting some effort into your hygiene and grooming. Trust me guys, this is important. And if you make it a habit or part of your everyday routine, depending on what it is of course, not everything needs to be done every single day, this is super easy to improve on. When your hair is really greasy or you've got dandruff everywhere or you haven't brushed your teeth and your breath stinks or you clearly aren't taking care of your skin, I mean there are so many different grooming habits here that if you neglect them, they definitely make a physical difference um, and lead to you not looking as good as you could. And you guys know a big part of this is taking care of your skin, so big thank you to Tej Hanley for sponsoring today's video. Tej Hanley makes taking care of your skin uncomplicated. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing that you don't. If you're just getting started, I I recommend going with the level one system, which comes with all of the basics. So you'll get a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub to get rid of all that dead skin and make your face look glowing, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20, because as I always say, you're tough, but you're not tougher than the sun, guys, and a PM moisturizer to use before bed. And to make it even easier, they provide you with this instruction card in every box that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. And I know you're thinking, I'll get it next time Courtney talks about it, or I'll wait until next month, or whatever you're waiting for, but this isn't something you wanna put off because prevention is key, and you wanna get ahead of any signs of aging now. 10 years from now, when you look better than every other guy, your future self is going to look back and say, thank you, Courtney Ryan, for recommending Tiege Hanley. 
In addition to amazing skin, members of Tiege Hanley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off of the retail price, access to exclusive monthly deals, pause or cancel at any time, and free US shipping. And because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the first link down in the description and you'll get 30% off of your first box, plus a free gift. Don't miss out on this amazing deal. Click that link and get started today. The next one is all about what you've got going on in here. You can be the hottest guy in the world, but if you're constantly negative and making every experience an enjoyable one, people aren't gonna like being around you very much. Being overly negative or just having a bad attitude in general is unattractive for a variety of different reasons. Number one, it can create a tense and unpleasant atmosphere and is very draining for the people that are around you. It also demonstrates a lack of optimism or a tendency to focus on problems rather than solutions, which can be very unappealing and unattractive to a lot of people, especially women. We want to see you focusing on solutions and being able to take initiative and resolve a situation, not constantly dwelling on the negatives and doing nothing about it. On the flip side here, being relatively positive or optimistic can create a more enjoyable and uplifting environment and can be attractive qualities in a person that women are looking for. Now, I'm not saying you need to be little Mr. Golden Retriever. You don't need to be sunshine and rainbows 24 seven. It's okay to have a bad day and to complain from time to time, but being overly negative, always being Mr. Negative Nelly, you know, always having a very bad attitude is not attractive in anybody, men or women, honestly. And the reality is, is that how you make people feel when they're around you plays an important role in perceived attractiveness. And it's been proven that positive effect tends to result in people finding you more attractive as an individual. So so create a positive environment to be around. Don't be a negative energy sucking vampire. Nobody thinks that's attractive. The next thing that makes men and honestly women unattractive is laziness. Nobody imagines what they want in a partner and thinks, hmm, I really hope I end up with someone lazy, said no woman or man ever. Laziness is unattractive because it shows a lack of motivation, a lack of drive and ambition, all things that women tend to look for in a partner. Most women are attracted to men who are passionate, who have goals, and who are willing to work hard to achieve those things. And for someone who values productivity, growth, and success, as many women do nowadays, you know, women have become more successful themselves, and they're looking for those things in a partner as well. I know you guys don't like to hear that. Um, don't shoot the messenger here. I'm just telling you straight how it is. So because of this, being with someone who is lazy and puts no effort into themselves or their life goals is clearly not a good match. Personal laziness can also be a sign that they'd be lazy in the relationship as well and could be a warning sign of a lack of effort or contribution to a relationship. No thank you. Because this video is things men do that are unattractive according to science, this next one is going to make a lot of sense. And that is a lack of sleep. And I will say it's called beauty sleep for a reason, gentlemen. So there are a few key points I wanna highlight here. So number one, on a physical level, a lack of sleep can cause your skin to appear dull and tired looking. It can also make you have dark circles or bags under your eyes. It can also cause your eyes to appear bloodshot or puffy. So obviously a lack of sleep affects your mental health and well-being, but also the way that you look on the outside. You're going to look less attractive if you don't get sleep because your body is physically run down. And again, this all goes back to that health point that I mentioned earlier. Normally attractiveness all points back to being healthy and if you are sleep deprived, you have not had a good night's sleep, your body is not well rested, this is going to impact the way that you look physically and you're not going to look healthy because you are deprived of sleep. So you're gonna have dull, tired skin, your eyes are going to be bloodshot, you're gonna have bags and dark circles, which are not attractive things. So sleep is important obviously for your mental well-being, but also the way that you look on the outside too. As we know, sleep deprivation can also lead to overall fatigue, which can make a person appear less lively, less energetic and engaging. Um, and this can also lead to moodiness, a negative emotional state and irritability, which can make a person less attractive to others and less enjoyable to be around. So prioritize your sleep, do not neglect this part of your life, get into a good bedtime routine and don't stay up until 2 a.m. playing video games or scrolling on your phone. The next point is contractive body language. Ah, the power of body language that I've talked about so many times before. 
Things like hunching your shoulders and slouching, crossing your arms, having your hands in your pockets, excessive fidgeting. These are all things that can make people perceive you as less attractive. And you might be thinking, why is that the case? Well, because all of these things tend to make you appear insecure, unsure of yourself, nervous, a lot of bad descriptors. It can also suggest defensiveness or discomfort and may convey to other people a lack of confidence or openness. And this can also show disinterest in engaging or interacting in a conversation as well. So what you really wanna do instead is have open and expansive body language, like keeping eye contact, standing or sitting up straight. I know every time I say that, I perk up a little bit when I do videos on this. Um, uncrossing your arms and your legs. This can convey confidence, interest, and approachability, which are often more attractive to other people. Long story short, body language is important and something that you should absolutely be paying attention to. And my last point here, the most Captain Obvious of me, is having no sense of humor. We all know that women love guys with a sense of humor. This is nothing new or groundbreaking. To get into the specifics though of why no sense of humor can be perceived as unattractive is because it can suggest an inability to laugh at yourself or situations or a lack of lightheartedness. And also because having a sense of humor is associated with positive traits like creativity, intelligence, emotional intelligence, and then can create a more relaxed, enjoyable, and engaging social environment. AKA, the way you make people feel around you plays a role in how attractive they perceive you to be. Laughter and humor can also be beneficial for your mental and physical health, and a partner who is able to make you laugh and feel good can be an important aspect of a healthy and fulfilling relationship. I wouldn't want to hang around someone all the time who was Mr. Serious and never made me laugh. That's no fun. So guys, that is all I have for this video. If you liked it or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. Let me know down in the comments below what are some things women do that you find unattractive. Also, from your own point of view as a male, what are some things you do or you notice other men doing that are also unattractive that I didn't include in this list today? I absolutely could have added more to this list and maybe when I go through your comments, I'll end up making a part two, uh, but I just didn't wanna make a movie here today. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. I've been posting some reels over there and just kind of condensed versions of my long form videos. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check that out. I'm also pretty interactive on my stories and that's probably the best place to reach me a little bit more one on one if that's something that you're interested in. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.